Hey guys, welcome to Pepperina's World. RJ's with me, but he's on the phone. He acts like he doesn't want to be in the video, but he's in the video. So yeah, we're doing an unboxing from Amazon. I started thinking we really should have an emergency pack, like a backpack or something in case of a fire, tornado, flood, whatever, because 2020 has taught me you never know what could happen. So we should be prepared. So, of course, there's all this. Speaking what in the world? Why is this not? Okay, I ordered these. Why are they not packaged like this? That concerns me. But these are um, potable aqua tablets that you put in water in case you have to clean it. So... Let me see. Then what else did I get? I got the Life Straw that it filters the water. You can drink out of a stream and all that good stuff. Let me go ahead and open it for you guys. Removes 99.999 of bacteria like E. coli and etc. Removes 99.999 of, uh, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Filters 4,000 liters, 1,000 gallons. Yeah, so I got one, I believe it was $14.99. I believe. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So, put this in the water and then suck through here. Will it close appropriately? Yeah. So this, this is not for that. That's for me. So this, excuse me, this is where these went, but it still doesn't make sense. Oh, here it is. It's still concerning. So technically it came with it, but yeah, I don't know about that. Let's see, what else did I get? Emergency weather radio. I believe. Okay, so it's solarized. Here's the radio. Dang, this is heavy. So I guess we can clip it onto a backpack. It has a crank where you can crank it. Oh God. Wait, wait, you can really crank it? Crank it in order to start it up, but my camera is moving, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Wait, can I crank it? Oh, there's the flashlight. We can just break the entire lighting thingy. So you crank it in order to use it in an emergency. You can also use the USB cord. Here's the cord that it comes with. Here's the connection. I think it also charges your... Yeah, it also charges your cell phone in an emergency. Here's the spot for batteries. Yep. Yep. There it is. How do I crank it? It has SOS on here. SOS. But why isn't it doing it? Maybe I should read. <laughs> oh, God. Did it do it? Nope, it didn't do it. Okay, so I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to actually read, but... Of course, of course, it's FM, AM, all that good stuff. FM, AM. So you can see it closer. Dude, can you move your feet? And then here's some paperwork on it. 
it has a free lifetime warranty register so i need to register so i got that let's see what else i purchased in case of an emergency oh this little flashlight i don't know if y'all can see that it also has a crank on the back there it is it lights up and this one is also solarized it cranks I'm assuming it has somewhere for a battery. Can I try cranking this? Yeah. And so, that is so you can clip it to your backpack. So where is the cranking? But this, I don't see. Oh, maybe. Let's see. So how's like... I was going to say, <clears throat> unless you take this off. No. I don't know if it has a part for it. I don't see anywhere where it says for batteries. But anyway, this is Primal Camp. Here it is. I got it from Amazon. Amazon! For $9.99. This, I believe, was... 25 I'm not really sure um let's see the last thing I purchased because I don't even remember oh survival kit <gasps> oh god okay so this is a survival kit that comes with many different objects it comes in this black hard plastic case. I'm trying to see. How do I open it? Oh, okay. So you unsnap all the little areas. Me just putting my camera right on the phone. It comes with an emergency blanket. And this bracelet that also acts as a fire starter. But, of course, I'm not trying to start a fire. I am on the bed. <laughs> so, that's not safe. Uh, I believe this is a little flashlight. And I don't think they put batteries, of course. Because this would require batteries. Let's see. I forgot to show you. Yeah, it just fell out. All right. It comes with a pin. Oh. You twist it. And it's a pin. On the other side, this is made if you're in your car, you break the window or if you got to break a window to get out of somewhere. This, you clip onto your backpack. You put a bottled water. It's supposed to be able to click. So you clip. So you can carry your bottle of water hanging on your backpack so you're not holding it. This? What the hell is this? I don't know. What this is? I don't know. I would have to go back in the kit and look. A silver pipe. I honestly don't know. Here's a metal fork. Oh, wait. Let me open it. So, RJ, don't be making weird faces. Good God. So, here's the fork. On the other side is a spoon. So and, of course, spork. all these little grooves are capable of doing something. Do I know what they do? No. But it's a tool that can be multi-purpose tool. So, it's technically a spork. It's like a spoon and fork connected together. Yep. That's basically what, um... This is also a fire starter, I believe. Let's see if I can crank, um... I believe, from what I remember. I wish I had my phone so I could have been looking. I made a crank. 
You mean you cranked it? Yeah, I cranked it. Oh, they even have a fake little worm to go fishing. That looks Amazing. like a gummy worm. Yeah, it does. Oh, God. I really need to go back and look. I don't remember all these little items in this emergency kit. This is a knife. Oh, crap. There you go. Oh, my God. In case you got to fight somebody, cut someone. Or just in case you got... Or that... if you go camping... Like, of course, I'm not condoning violence. Is that really real? Yes, it's real. It's not a toy. Okay. I'm... Oh, God. He's making me nervous. Oh, oh God. Do not cut yourself. Yeah, RJ, do. you do not play with weapons. <sighs> okay, so... What else do we have in this emergency kit? I'm scared I'm going to cut myself. It's more sharp objects. Is this stainless steel? Uh, this groove right here is a can opener. Let me just show you like this. This top edge is a knife edge. This is... A screwdriver. Wait, a okay. Screwdriver. Number four. This right here. Obviously a ruler. Number five. This is a bottle opener. Please don't drop my stuff. Number six. Is this. Uh, a four position wrench. For various size nuts and bolts. Number seven is a butterfly wrench, which is showing this. Number eight, this is obviously a saw blade. I don't even know what this does. Number 10. Oh, it's... A wrench. Can y'all see that? And uh, number 11. 11 is a large keyhole, according to them. This little hole. So you can put it on a keychain, but I think it's safer inside of this. This is a large clip. I'm not sure if it does anything special. I really have to do my research. I know this metal chain is to cut trees in case you have to build your own shelter. So that is all I have right now in our survival kit. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. And I really need to figure out what this metal pole is about.